Hey up everyone and welcome to week two of Right Good Poetry with me Sophie Sparham and yeah we're gonna look at another poem this week um one by a woman who I think's just absolutely banging like I've seen her perform live loads she's really cool she's a lovely person which makes us even better um she's won many awards and just writes really cool, interesting stuff. So there you go. Don't get me to write a bio for you because I would just use the words cool and awesome if I liked you a lot. So I've got my little facts at the ready as usual. Um, so she's English poet and playwright, grew up in Leeds. Um, her first collection, Looking Through Letterboxes, which came out in 2002, was published when she was just 15. She started young, it's a good thing. Um, she did, she's done loads of other collections. Um, the Air Year is her latest collection she's done, but I'm gonna look at a poem from In These Days of Prohibition, um, which was actually shortlisted for the T.S. Eliot Prize and the Ted Hughes Award. She's done loads of stuff, she's done playwriting stuff as well. I could bang on about Caroline Bird's career for the rest of this video but that's not going to help us read the poem today so the the poem that i've chosen uh, by caroline is paper rustling megan married herself by caroline bird live in derbyshire gotta be careful not to say her sen it's herself she arrived at the country mansion in a silver limousine She'd sent out invitations and everything. Her name written twice with and in the middle, the calligraphy of coupling. She strode down the aisle to at last by Etta James, faced the celebrant like a keen soldier reporting for duty, her voice shaky yet sure. I do, I do. You may now kiss the mirror, applause, confetti, Every single one of the 140 guests deemed the service unimprovable, especially the vase. So far from the heart, her wedding gown was ivory, pointedly off-white. After all, we've shared a bed for 32 years, she quipped in her first speech. I'm hardly virginal, if you know what I mean. No one knew exactly what she meant. Not a soul questioned their devotion. You only had to look at them, hands cupped in hand, smiling at the same eyes. You could sense their language, bone deep, blended blood. Toasts were frequent, tearful. One guest eyed his wife hovering harmlessly at the bar and imagined what his life might have been if he'd responded years ago to that offer in his head. I'm the only one who will ever truly understand you. Marry me, Derek. I love you. Marry me. At the time, he hadn't taken his proposal seriously. He recharged his champagne flute, watched the newlywed cut her five-tiered cake, both hands on the knife. Is it too late for us to try, Derek whispered to no one, as the bride glided herself onto the dance floor, taking turns first to lead, then follow. So there we go. That is Megan Married Herself by Caroline Bird. I like this poem for a number of reasons. Now, it's very prosy, meaning it's written very much like, I don't know, like a story or a piece of text. It very much tells a story of uh, this woman, Megan. She has this massive celebration and, you know, quite obvious what happens. She marries her son. She gets together with herself. Um, after 32 years of living on the planet, she decides she wants to get married to herself. Cool. On a base level, that's very quirky. It's funny. Um, it plays on the idea of loving yourself. You know, there's lots of really fun imagery used in there. The fact that she says, I do, I do. You know, the repetition of I do. Um, you may now kiss the mirror. That's good. I like that. Um, you know, the fact that she's, 
her dress is pointedly off white, you know, she's been with her sen for so long, like she's not, you know, hardly virginal. And everyone's like, no one knew exactly what she meant. It's good, there's always nice little quirks in it. And then, you know, and it's all about like, for me, this poem is all about self-love and embracing like both sides of your sen. But it's done in a funny way. So it's all about thinking about, you know, embracing every part of yourself and learning to love every part of yourself, which I think works perfectly. And it's done, something that Bird does is she's really good at like using like surreal, like surrealism and surreal imagery and mixing that in with these kind of everyday situations um, in her work. And I, and I really, really like that about her work. It's, I think it's, it's, it's cool. It's a cool thing she does. But then, you know, you've got all this celebration of the self and then at the end you've got this guy looking at his wife and thinking about his own proposal to himself. And it's kind of like, that, bringing that in afterwards, it gives like an extra layer to the poem, like this extra sense of meaning. And, and it makes you think about people that, that haven't, um, you know, that, that haven't kind of embraced themselves and haven't kind of thought about you know, all these parts themselves, but in a, in a fun kind of way. So you could have just had Megan getting married and that could just be enough. That could have been enough. Some people might say, right, we've got these quirky bits. We'll just finish the poem there. However, what Bird's done is she's taken that idea one step further and had this guy like kind of looking back at his own life and his own love and thinking like, you know, what would have happened if I married myself? What, where would I be if I fully embraced myself? And so it makes you think of this on like a whole different level, which is what I really like. And I think that it's done nicely. It's like kind of sad, but it's also funny at the same time. It's done with this uh, gentle humor around it. So yeah, there you go. That is my quick summary of Megan Married Herself by Caroline Bird. Um, if there's stuff that you've picked up on, stuff in the language that you like or stuff about the poem that you want to say um please mention in the comments would really really love to hear what you think about this poem i think it's wicked but yeah you might not you might disagree whatever put it in the comments below um and again if you're new to this channel please subscribe that would be absolutely awesome um if you like what i do and if you really like what I do, you can do a little donate on the Patreon below. But again, if you're skin or out like that, don't feel like you've got to do it. Just come along and enjoy the videos. Many thanks and I shall catch you next week.